Release my people now. Nobody will get hurt. All right, all right. So, how you want to play it? Today we're talking about Infection Free Zone, a colony management game set in a zombie apocalypse. Is it worth playing? Let's find out. First up, let's talk about what sets Infection Free Zone apart from your typical zombie survival game its ingenious use of real-world locations. By leveraging Google Maps data, the game generates maps based on actual places, allowing players to immerse themselves in familiar environments. This means that players can defend their own neighborhoods or explore iconic locations. The game meticulously renders landmarks, streets, and businesses, creating an immersive experience that blurs the line between fiction and reality. Players can strategize and fortify their bases using the layout of their actual surroundings, adding a personal touch to the gameplay. While the geolocation feature is impressive, it's not without its occasional quirks. Players may encounter minor discrepancies, such as misplaced roads or mislabeled buildings. However, these issues are minor in comparison to the overall immersion and unique experience offered by Infection Free Zone. Whether players are battling zombies in their hometowns or exploring distant locales, the geolocation feature adds a new dimension to the gameplay that is deserving of recognition. Now let's shift our focus to the gameplay itself. Infection Free Zone combines elements of colony management and survival, challenging you to scavenge for resources, fortify your base, and lead your survivors to safety. As players, you're tasked with navigating the treacherous landscape of a post-apocalyptic world where resources are scarce and danger lurks around every corner. Scavenging for supplies becomes a vital aspect of survival. Every decision, from which buildings to explore to how to allocate your limited resources, carries weight and consequence. You'll find yourself constantly balancing the need for food, medicine, and ammunition against the ever-present threat of the undead. But survival isn't just about hoarding supplies, it's also about fortifying your base and protecting your survivors. Building defenses, organizing patrols, and training your squads are essential tasks in ensuring the safety of your community. The tension mounts as you fend off waves of zombies and struggle to keep your defenses intact. Yet for all its immersive gameplay, micromanagement can quickly become overwhelming, with squads often failing to execute commands or behaving unpredictably. This lack of reliability can be frustrating, undermining the otherwise compelling experience of managing a survivor colony. Furthermore, certain design choices detract from the game's potential. The absence of snap-to-grid placement for defenses makes base building a cumbersome process, while intrusive tutorial interruptions disrupt the flow of gameplay. These issues may seem minor individually, but collectively, they chip away at the game's overall enjoyment. Bring them in. Building adapted. We're on the move. Building clear. One of the key areas for enhancement lies in addressing player feedback. By listening to the community and implementing changes based on their suggestions, the developers can tailor the game to better suit the desires of its audience. This could involve refining existing mechanics, tweaking gameplay balance, or fixing technical issues that hinder the overall experience. Additionally, focusing on refining core mechanics could greatly enhance the gameplay depth and longevity of Infection Free Zone, introducing more strategic options, expanding upon base building mechanics, and fine tuning squad management could elevate the game to new heights. By offering players more meaningful choices and challenges, each playthrough could become a unique and engaging experience. Furthermore, embracing a more dynamic approach to gameplay could breathe new life into Infection Free Zone introducing a wider variety of random events, environmental hazards, and emergent gameplay scenarios would keep players on their toes and ensure that no two games are ever the same. This would add an element of unpredictability and excitement, encouraging players to explore, adapt, and overcome new challenges with each playthrough. So is Infection Free Zone worth playing? Based on my analysis, I would give a rating of 6 out of 10. While the game offers innovative features like the geolocation feature that adds a unique layer of immersion, it is held back by several nagging issues and design flaws. These include problems with micromanagement, lack of snap to grid placement for defenses, intrusive tutorial interruptions, and a somewhat linear gameplay experience. For players who are passionate about the zombie survival genre and are willing to overlook these shortcomings, there is still enjoyment to be found in Infection Free Zone. However, those seeking a more polished and seamless experience may find it prudent to wait until the developers address these issues in future updates. And there you have it, 
my perspective on infection-free zone. Keep in mind, gaming is subjective, not everyone will see eye to eye, and that's what keeps it intriguing. Share your opinions in the comments. Until we meet again, catch you in the next video.